Hello and welcome to the members only video for April. Um, this is the, we're just going to check on these coins that have been uh, sitting in these things toning from the coin toning videos that I put out, the experiment. I haven't checked on these since uh, June 26th, so about, about 10 months ago. Um, so I figured let's check on these. I've got all these here and I've got this, uh, the one that was sitting on my desk right here. It's just been sitting there since, um, looks like the one that's sitting on my desk hasn't really toned up very much, interestingly enough. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get into these. We'll crack them open. Um, as a quick, uh, quick note, all of these here after the last video, um, when I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with them, I uh, took them all up and stuck them into the basement drawer. So they've all just been sitting in the same place. So it's not really a much of an experiment anymore. It's just a, let's check and see how long, how, how much they've toned in the past 10 months. More of a comparison video. Um, then if you like this, you want me to see it, if you'd like me to do a couple of other experimentations on these, I'm open to that as well. We'll discuss that here at the end some thoughts I have. I do have one more that is in the fridge and it's been there since um, when I put it in there about a year ago. So we'll pull that one out and check it as well and see how much that one has toned up if it has at all. All right, let's get into these and see what's going on with these half dollars. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue <laughs> <Keep> coins. <laughs> All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. All right, so let me get the glove on just so I don't, you know, put any undue um, prints on any of these. So here is the control. It's been sitting in here. And it's um, two by two here. It doesn't look like it's toned Hardly at all. It's been in there with this uh, silica pack. Same silica pack that I started out with. Um, uh, using it's So I don't know if the silica pack is still working or not. But that's that one. Let's take a quick look at these. Um, I haven't picked out any new music to use for the video. So hopefully things are going to be okay. Because I usually just sped through this. Um, so this is the 40% the basement shell where it was. I'll take a quick look. Um, there's some tone on it. There. Let's look at the back. Yep. I don't know how much these have toned up or changed since last year. Um, and again, these have all just been sitting in the same location, same piled up. Mm, I think I remember seeing the tone on this one. Let's zoom in just a little bit more. Very cool. Very cool. Doesn't look like it's toned a whole lot more than it has been. Um, and again, all of these for the past 10 months have just been sitting in the same location. So it's more of a let's check the coins out type thing. All right. This is 40% from number three. And I think I'm going to pull the 40% out, keep the 90% in, and maybe I'll do something different with the 40%. Um, let me know if you have any thoughts. I was considering maybe dipping them in e -zest or dipping half in e -zest and half not just to see if it would tone up better, faster, differently. Um, here's coin number four. This is 40%. And looking at these, they don't, these don't seem to have toned very much in the past year, or 10, 10 months. Here's the other coin core, which is a little surprising. Oh, this one might have toned a little bit more in spots. Some splotchy tones down there at the bottom. Hmm. These haven't toned up very much. So I'm going to have to... Um, figure something else out here. Let's see. Coin number five. This was in the entry. 
I think this one actually toned up. I might have to do the most tone on it. Here. Interesting. Interesting. I figured these would tone up in the basement drawer. Well, this one, I guess, is still taped. <laughs> I know the tape is still sticky from last time I put these back in. Let's see. Alright, so that's those. Let me go grab the one out of the fridge and we'll check that one out. Okay, here's the one from the fridge. It's been in there for 12, 12 14 months. 14 months, roughly? Uh, almost 15 months now. Um, and then let's look at this one first. This is one that's been sitting uh, open on the desk here. I flipped it over every once in a while. Um, looks like there's a spot forming there. A green spot. I wonder if something got on it sitting open like that. Here is the one that is in the sleeve. I've got some spots on the back. I don't remember those being there. Spots on the front. Those are kind of unsightly. Huh, interesting. And then the one in the fridge. This is the one I've been most interested in checking out and seeing. Um, again, I haven't looked at it in 10 months. And, well, other than being cold, there's only a couple spots on it, you know. I thought that sitting in the damp, cold damp, would uh, tone up a little bit more. Huh. Interesting. Well, interesting. All right, let me take some pictures of these, and then we'll do a quick comparison just to see. Okay, got them all pictured. We'll break that down here in a second, um, and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with these. All the 40%, I think I'm going to take and pull out and do something else with those. Because I'm um, taking pictures of all these and stuff and trying to keep up with all the coins has always been a problem and, a, and an issue with uh, <laughs> with with everything. Um, so I'm going to put these, I think I'm going to put these on the shelf um, here and just see what happens to them. I might give it a few months before I look again. It might be another 10 months. I don't know. I don't know. This one I'll put back in the fridge and we'll go from there. All right, let's uh, take a look at these and see how they match up with where they were previously and here are the coins pictured um the start was june 3rd of 2022 and we're now may 2nd 2024 and if you remember the uh starting pictures are a little more reflective i've uh tried to get better at pictures since then and i think i have so but anyways so this is the control uh it looks pretty much the same. Uh, no real changes. Maybe some slight. The spots on it may, might be slightly more. Um, and then let's see. Here's the reverse. Again, right about the same. Uh, again, the spots might be slightly more toned. Coin two. Big difference. I know when we were opening them up and looking at them, I couldn't really tell a big difference, but now that I'm seeing them here side by side, wow. It's definitely forming a nice brown skin on, on, on the coins here. In reverse, yeah, a much, much darker coin there. Um, coin, the second one, this is the 90%. Um, let's see. Yep, looks like it's gotten a bit darker. And here's the reverse. Yeah, it's forming a nice nice brown tone color to it. Here is coin three. And again, for the past 10 months, all these have been in the same spot, so I didn't worry about uh, marking down where they were. Because uh, I wasn't sure I was going to make this video or continue on with the experiment, but I figured I'd just leave them in the envelopes and see what happens. Um, still a bit darker. Yeah, yeah. You can tell a bit, bit darker. Some of the spots are very, um, the little spots on the surface, whatever happened, definitely uh, changing there. This one is getting more of a very, very dark brown spots all over, it looks like. Um, 
this is the 90%. Let's see, Oof, yeah, the bag, you see how dark the spots are on the bag. You can see it had some spots, but they have really darkened up here. We're on to coin four. The first one is the 40%. Um, yeah, this one doesn't quite look as toned as the others. It is darkening up a little bit. And same with the reverse. Um, I believe this one was up in the bedroom closet. So for the first year. And yeah, a bit darker. Some of the some of the spots here have really darkened up. The surfaces are kind of speckling up there. Interesting. Here's the reverse. This is the 90% we're looking at here. And coin five, uh, 40%. Um, I know this is the one that I could really tell a difference. It was this one, the, the coin fives were the ones that I could really see a nice deep uh, tone on it and the reverse. Wow. All right, here is the 90%. This one is really forming a nice uh, toned crust on it. Lots of spots and speckles there. Oh, looks like they're starting to form together and fill in the the gaps with white. And you can see this one had, had the spots on it before, some of the spots. Uh, it's just turning up a really, really darker there. And here is the reverse. This one looks like it is coming out really nice. Now for the two that are on the desk here, this is the first one. This one is in the envelope. And you can see some of these spots here are a bit darker. And this is right about what we saw going on um, at about a year mark. And this has been a little over a year since I started these. So, so that's about what they were looking, the other coins were looking at. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Maybe it's not toning up as fast on the desktop here. Here's the reverse. And you can really see the dark spots really forming out on the reverse here. Cool. This next one is the one that is open on the desk. Um, you can see it doesn't really look like it's much changed. You can see right here, there's a real spot forming. Maybe something got on it because it's just been open on my desk here. So it's possible something, um, maybe a drop of water splashed on it some somehow or something. Um, there's a little green spot here. Hopefully that's just some toning. We'll see, we'll see. Um, and a few of the spots are a little darker. It doesn't seem to be toning up as much as I thought it would. Here's the reverse. You know, some of the spots are a little bit darker on the reverse. And there's a spot here that wasn't there or is very minor. Hmm. <laughs> and coin seven, the one from the fridge here, which is surprisingly looks similar. Very, very similar, which I would have thought this one would have really darkened up. Um, and maybe it's just how the lighting, I had to lighting. It looks like some of the spots have lightened up almost. And again, this might be some of the lighting. And this one's been in for about a year now. Let's see. And here's the reverse. And yeah, looks about the same. No real difference. That is surprising. Sitting in the fridge, very humid, very cold. I thought it would have seeped off more of the um, chemicals that are in the envelope there that would cause it to tone more, but it hasn't really toned very much, if any at all. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, so those results were pretty interesting. Um, they toned up more than it looked like when I opened it up, though. And we opened up the envelopes and took a look. They uh, did tone up a little bit more than they look in the camera there. Um, so these 40% I'm going to set aside. And uh, next check-in will probably just be the 90%, just to make it easier. It took me a long time to picture... It for each of these videos, it took me a really long time having two coins in each spot 
really added to the frustration of trying to take the pictures, get them, uh, make sure I'm uh, keeping the the locations and which coin to which matched up. Um, so this will streamline that a little bit. Um, I'd have to double check, but there was 20 plus different photos there that we just went through. Um, so that took quite a while to get set up and edited there. These 40%, um, maybe, maybe I'll dip them. I'll get some e-zest at some point and I can, we can do a little video of dipping them and see if we can, uh, clean them up a little bit and then maybe put them back in the envelopes or put them in some new envelopes and see if they tone up faster once they were dipped. Um, and of course, if I'm dipping them, I'm going to do it, the uh, the way the professionals do it. Uh, I'm not going to over dip. I'm not going to, it's going to be more of a restoration instead of a cleaning. Um, so, because there's a few different ways you can do it and you can um, easily dip them for too long and destroy the surfaces. So, uh, so yeah, so that's that. Maybe we'll figure out what I'm going to do with those. If you have any thoughts on the 40% and what you would like me to do with those, uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Um, I could make a separate video, do a before, then dip and do an after just to see how they are, and then go from there on trying to retone them. Um, yeah, so cool. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video, and um, hopefully you enjoyed this as a members-only video for the month of, uh, for April's video. Uh, that is a little late. Um, I apologize for that. And we will be having a fun video i think i've got everything set up in a way that i am okay with for uh streaming and stuff the problem is i don't have the time to stream on a regular basis with my work schedule and everything else i just don't have the time to do it <laughs> but uh i do have a fun uh some fun p uh, penny rolls they're rolls of pennies and it'll be a very exciting video for the next members only uh, video in a few weeks here. I um, think I'm narrowing down on a uh, day and time there. So I will let y'all know when that is. And again, thank you to all the members who, who watch the video and who help and support the channel go above and beyond. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. And hopefully this, you found value in this uh, video here and in the videos coming up. All right, well, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Help me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.